Stevie Eskenazi, thanks for joining us. A tough opener here in the, the uh, New Blast campaign. Lost to Surrey in the opener. Yeah, um, an incredible side, Surrey, with an amazing amount of experience. Um, a side at, I guess, the opposite end of the spectrum in terms of their development as us. Um, I think at Sages today, we actually fought really hard and we competed, I think, to keep things 200 was somewhere, if not par, just a fraction over par and something we felt really comfortable defending. Um, and I think after the power play, we were really nicely set up to, to put them under some pressure there going into the, tenth, the second 10. Um, ultimately, I think that experience shone through. They kept coming at us and we fell a bit short. But I think that whilst there were some positives, um, we're going to have to learn and learn fast. Absolutely. You look at their lineup. Roy obviously stepping out of the game, injured in the warm-ups. The damage was done by both Curran brothers and Will Jacks. They've got a side packed full of international quality. We've gone in with a very inexperienced side. But I guess we're growing as a side and developing with each game. Yeah, look, Surrey haven't just got to this point overnight. Um, they've built to the side, they've added, they've put games experience into young players. Sam, Tom and Jaxi five years ago, they were where Nate Fernandez is now, you know. So people can be very quick to forget that, I think. Um, the likes of Owen Morgan, they were once 18, 19 year olds in this team learning the game too. So um, look, they... They've out, outpowered us there, I think, at the death um, and with the ball. When your international opener drops out with an injury and you can bring up somebody who's opened in the IPL for six years, it's a very different equation to bringing someone in as a debutante. So whilst we have realistic expectations of these guys, I don't think that's a ceiling on their performance either. I don't see any reason why someone like a maid, Max, Crackers, Blakey can't come out and be man of the match consistently. Um, and we've got experienced guys and the likes of, you know, Simo and... Pete, Nigo, Helmy and myself who are going to have to take a lot of responsibility on this competition. It's something that we hopefully see over the next few games. You mentioned Nathan Fernandez, Steve, a special day for him today making his debut here in the first 11 at Lords. Yeah, fantastic. Over the moon from him. He's a lovely kid and he's a talented cricketer. Um, night sights tonight are invaluable experience. That's worth, you know, a year's worth of second team T20 cricket in my eyes. Bowling at the likes of of Sam and Tom there who have played over 150, 200 games of cricket all over. I mean, Sam's been playing spin in the IPL for seven weeks every single day against the best in the world and he's gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. So um, that's the reality of the situation. Again, it's not an excuse for not being good enough, um, but it's certainly going to fast track the development of someone like Nate. Um, and he's here for a reason. We think he's good enough and hopefully he can show that consistently over the next few games. Look at the positive, Steve. Really nice inning. Some Max Holden there tonight. Yeah, Max, who was someone who takes the game forward and I think this year you know, we spoke to him about batting in the middle and, and playing spin the way he did today, and he went to his game straight away. Um, he's got the talent to take his game to the next level. He's too good a player to just be playing domestic cricket here in England. He should be, you know, knocking on the door of the 100 wild card and knocking on the door of competitions around the world because he's got the game. He's a 360 player, and his confidence is growing year on year. So, yeah, some increased responsibility for someone like Max, who hopefully is going to help him. Uh, and, yeah, happy with his start for sure. Absolutely. Eski, thanks for joining us.